Hey, what's good viewers? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Black Series Emperor Palantine. And I'll be reviewing it, of course, because that's what I do. I review stuff. Looking at the back, we get some box art with a picture of Emperor Palantine. Just some pretty basic Black Series stuff we've seen before. So here's Emperor Palpatine, Palpatine, Palpa, whatever you want to call him. Old man Logan, I don't know. Just old dude, old fart, who is a uh, Sith Lord in the first six movies, but you don't know it, spoiler alert, until episode three, or if you've seen the old movies, then he's the bad guy since the beginning. Anyways, I'm just rambling. I don't know much about Star Wars, other than what I've seen in the movies. I really do like the movies, but this figure is pretty dang lame. I'm not really liking it at all. First, starting out with the sculpt and everything, he comes with a cool robe, which I do like the robe, but then underneath, actually it has a cool little buckle here. Boy, going where it's a little buckle. That's pretty neat, a little hole, and it buckles into the hole. Um, and then everything else is molded underneath. So, in my opinion, it doesn't look good together. It, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't flesh well out with the fabric, and then, then they have a molded plastic here. I'm not too, too happy with the way that came out myself. It would have been a little bit better, I think, if they went with the fabric with this right here instead of the mold. His face sculpt is not very well done. His hair looks okay, but he's just, he looks like Deadpool, but worse. He is not looking good. He looks like he's about to die in like the next day, which is pretty accurate to the movie, but it, <laughs> this is not a very good face sculpt. I'm not digging it at all. Another reason why the fabric doesn't go so well with the rest of the mold is because this is a really shiny plastic so we got kind of a dull fabric here with the shiny plastic and then at the bottom we get not shiny plastic I, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to what's going on here shiny not shiny fabric okay Hasbro pick one and the skin really has a shiny tint to it as well he's supposed to be an old fart he shouldn't be all shiny and stuff and glistening I do like the way everything is molded in the clothes uh, it's just the paint is off and with everything like that the molds fine everything else is a little bit off uh, I like the way this is made as well looks pretty high quality articulation he can do the exorcist his head goes down that far it goes back that far shoulders up that high, 360, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow here, really great range of motion out of that. Um, doesn't look like we get any wrist hinge, just a swivel, actually there is a wrist hinge, it's at the side of his wrist which is actually kind of really weird. Usually they're right here at the bottom of the wrist but this one's at the side, not digging that too much. No ab crunch at all. Just notice that actually. No ab crunch, a little bit, but there's no joint there. It's just kind of sitting on a weird ball peg. Big articulation is severely hindered by his little dress right here. You can kind of kick it past. Um, to be fair though, he is an old fart. He's not really doing lots of jumps and stuff, unless you've seen the animated series Clone Wars, in which Emperor Palpatine is a freaking badass. Um, I don't care, it's an old show, so I'm going to spoil it for you. He kicks Darth Maul's and Savage Opress's ass. If you have not seen the cartoon um, from that was on Cartoon Network, try to look up Emperor Palatine versus uh, Darth Maul and Op Savage Opress, and you'll just see how freaking awesome that show is in one, and you'll see how awesome this guy is. And that's going to bring me to my next major complaint. He comes with a freaking cane and no lightsaber. Um, hello? He's a Sith Lord. Where is his lightsaber? What the heck? I don't want some old fart. I want a freaking lightsaber. So that really pisses me off that he doesn't come with a lightsaber. Why the hell not? It doesn't cost that much to make one. It doesn't cost that much to include one. Hello? So uh, I'm not going to recommend this figure at all. I don't like it. It feels really cheap. It feels cheaply made. It looks cheaply made. The sculpt is not well done. Um, all the other complaints I've set out too far, and most importantly, he doesn't come with a freaking lightsaber. Uh, that's all I got for today, guys. For other great figures besides this one, check out Big Bad Toy Store. It's the link description below. Like, comment, and subscribe. 
I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a good day. Later.